Hi everyone, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can fix your rematch game from crashing. If your, cra if your rematch game is crashing a lot, uh, I had the same problem and I managed to find the solution for it. Just watch this video until the end and uh, I'm going to uh, show you the very easy fix and the solution for the crashes. So this is how the crash log looks like. Um, if you're prompted with this log, make sure to just click send and close. Uh, don't uh, do send and restart, just send and close. Uh, so uh, sometimes it, the solution is actually just that, but if you're not that lucky, like I was not lucky, you will have to apply some more stuff before you actually fix the rematch uh, from crashing. So yeah, click on send and close and let's focus on the solution right now before we actually go into the game for some additional uh, stuff that we need to figure out. First off, what you need to go do and uh, go to the start and go to uh, run. Uh, you are going to uh, do the percentage temp percentage uh, and click OK. So write that down, percentage temp percentage, click OK. And right now you are going to be prompted with uh, this uh, folder, uh, which has a lot of your cache memory uh, stored. The reason for that is not only that it will speed up your uh, PC entirely, it will remove all the crash reports that you have from the rematch game. So it is very important uh, to just uh, basically select all of those, click on shift delete and delete all of them. This is just the crash memory and a cache memory sorry that uh, needs to be deleted in order for us to have a brand new fresh game how would I say uh, before we uh, configure the settings so go to the continue and wait for the cache memory to delete if you have the problems with some files that cannot be uh, deleted like this just uh, click on do this for all the current items and skip uh, again and that should be it now our uh, cache memory is fully clear and we can now proceed to uh, configuring our uh, drivers so i'll wait for this to delete right here uh, go to arrow up on your right bottom side of the your computer computer go to uh, nvidia settings right here if you're using uh, nvidia uh, graphics card if you're using the uh, other one um, make sure to find your uh, settings manager and in uh, manage uh, 3d settings tab make sure to go all the way down to uh, just one second we are looking for triple buffering make sure to put triple buffering to off and vertical sync as you can see here make sure to put it on use the 3d application settings so that way it will uh, use the vsync in game which will configure it out later in game so this is why it's important to have it uh, right here uh, in the nvidia control panel first selected uh, on the 3d application settings because we are going to go into the game later uh, once that is done we have one more step before we enter the game and that is we need to actually verify the game file integrity so first off what you need to do is go back to your steam account find your rematch game click on properties and here you'll have a couple of options uh, available so what you need to do is go to uh, just one second uh, updates uh, sorry no it is installed uh, files on uh, the third tab and uh, once you're here uh, make sure that you click on verify integrity of beta files so what will it do is it is going to just uh, basically um, very verify integrity of the files as it says but it will uh, sort all the files in the original order where they were uh, before the game was crashing so once you click on that just wait uh, and uh, it will very quickly verify the integrity of the game files it's basically just like refreshing the game uh, so this part was the most important for me uh, once i did this uh, part right here it totally fixed uh, my game uh, so for the final part of the tutorial we will have to go into the game and i'm gonna pause the recording right here while i enter the game okay so now that we are in the actual game, uh, what we need to do is we have to go to the system 
options and we are going to check the uh, couple of uh, video settings and gameplay settings. So in order for the game to be fully optimized and stop being stopped for, from crashing, this uh, not only stopped my game from crashing, but also enabled me much, much higher FPS. Uh, what we need to do is uh, go to the video settings and right here, make sure your game is on full screen mode. Uh, because uh, of sometimes if it's a window, uh, if it's a borderless window or windowed, it will reduce your FPS, it will uh, run the GPU much higher. So just make sure it's put on the full screen. Uh, VSync, make sure it's enabled. So in a lot of the game tutorials, uh, people uh, advise you to uh, disable the VSync, but uh, after turning the VSync on, it totally stopped the crashes for me. So uh, I think the VSync is the most uh, uh, most common factor of why this game is crashing, so make sure to click it out uh, to enabled. Then, uh, regarding the anti-aliasing, uh, make sure to put it on FXAA. And uh, I would advise, strongly advise, to put your motion, motion blur to zero. Go to the graphic settings, put it everything, basically everything, on the low. The grass quality, put it on disabled. Crowd quality disabled. Post-process quality on low. And anti-aliasing on low. So... If you do that, this game should be able to run without any crashes in the future, uh, especially when you verify the uh, integrity of the game files in the Steam and when you enable the VSync. I hope that this tutorial helped you, and if you did, make sure to like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.